Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we'll be making a satin rose with tulle. This is a really fast and easy hair accessory and a lot of fun for the holidays. I love the combination of the shiny satin with the sparkly tulle. Let's grab a few supplies and get started. The first thing you'll need is some tulle. This is tulle that I got on the spool, but you can use it if you have it by the yard, that's mine too. You'll need some one and a half inch satin ribbon, and this is shiny on both sides. You'll need a clip or something to attach your flower to. I'm using a clip that's been covered with grow grain ribbon. If you'd like to learn how to do this, check out my tutorial on how to cover a clip. You'll need a needle and some thread some coordinating felt, something to measure with, sharp scissors, and my glue gun set on low. Okay, the first step is to measure out your ribbon. You'll need 36 inches of the ribbon, so measure it to 36 inches and go ahead and cut it. Now we're going to trim our ends a little bit more. We're going to cut them at an angle that kind of curves around. This will make a really pretty beginning and end to your flower. And once you've cut it, go ahead and heat seal the ends of the ribbon. Using a match, just gently melt the edges of the ribbon so it doesn't come unraveled. Now you're going to measure out your tool to 36 inches. Now because I have mine on the spool, I just measure out 36 inches, cut it at 36 inches, and then we want it to be the same width as our satin. So I kind of just fold it over a few times. It makes it easier when I'm cutting it. And I'm going to measure up an inch and a half because we want it to match. And I'm going to cut it straight across so I have one long strip that measures 36 inches long by an inch and a half wide. Now match up your satin and your tool, and you want to just trim the edge of the tool in the same curve so it matches the ribbon. Get it all lined up nice and straight. And then using our needle and thread, you're going to sew a running stitch along the bottom of the satin and the tool. So just taking your needle in and out and in and out all along the bottom, securing the satin and the tool together. So to create a running stitch, you're just making small stitches that go in and out. So down into the ribbon and then up, and down into the ribbon and then up again. And this will gather our ribbon and our tool at the end. This part is a little time consuming, I'll be honest, but I promise it's worth it. So just continue to sew the running stitch all along the bottom. And you can see as we start to pull that, you can see it's starting to gather. Make sure as you're sewing that you keep your stitches as even as possible. This will create a really pretty gather for your flower. Also, make sure that you're holding the ribbon and the tool together so it doesn't start to move around. Sometimes the tool on the top will move up a little bit and you wanna make sure that they're lined up the whole time. So just keep sewing your running stitch all along the bottom. When you reach the other end of your ribbon, pull the needle all the way through and gently, gently pull your thread all the way through. You wanna make sure it doesn't knot up and get tangled. So gently pull the ribbon through and you can see I have this really pretty gathered ribbon and tool. Don't trim the needle off just yet. Just leave it hanging off the end. Now this next step is really important in giving our rose shape. Arrange your gathers so that the total length of your ribbon is 18 inches, approximately. And you can see on the left here, my ribbon is really, really gathered, and then it gradually becomes less and less gathered. The first six inches on the right there should be barely gathered at all, and then as it moves over towards the left, you can see it becomes more and more gathered. When you have the ruffles arranged, knot off the end of your thread and trim off the needle. Now, the side that we had barely gathered is going to be the beginning of our flower. So we're going to take our edge that's not as gathered, fold it down at an angle, and we're going to create the center of our rose. So taking the top right-hand corner, you're just going to take it down and fold it at an angle, 
add another little dab of glue and we're going to start rolling inward. So rolling to your left. To create a pretty shape in the center of our rose, you want to be rolling it pretty tight. Continue to add your glue a little bit at a time and then roll it and you'll want to work in small sections. I put a little bit of glue, roll it a few times, put a little bit more glue, roll it a few times. You want to make sure it stays lined up at the bottom and it's smart to stop every so often and just kind of hold your flower back and make sure it's forming the way that you like it. At this point you'll see the center of your rose starting to take shape. Continue to add glue and roll your flower. Once you have the center of your rose formed, you won't need to roll it as tightly. By loosely rolling the ribbon, you're creating a fuller rose. So continue to glue and roll and glue and roll, stopping every so often to check the shape of your flower, making sure that you keep it lined up on the bottom. And when you get to the end, work slowly at this point. You want to make sure that the end of your ribbon lines up evenly. So making sure that the gathers line up at the bottom there. And taking my very end, and I'm just going to glue that down. Once you have the end glued down, flip your flower over, and I just kind of play around with it a little bit, making sure that it's shaped the way I like it. And now we're going to add some felt to the back. So measure the back of the flower. Cut a square out of your felt that matches the measurement on the back of your flower, and then round off the edges on your square to form a circle. And this should fit nicely on the back of our rose. So line it with a whole bunch of glue and place it right on top of those gathered pieces there and it will give us a nice clean finish on the back. And the last step is to add our clip. So I have my ribbon covered clip here. Once again, if you'd like to check out that tutorial, please do. And you're just going to line the clip with some glue and place the clip upside down onto the felt, holding it down firmly until the glue sets. And ta-da, that's it. You have this really pretty festive holiday hair accessory. I love the shiny satin with the sparkly tool. And you can have a lot of fun matching up different colors of tulle with different colors of ribbon to get a lot of very different looks. If you have any comments or questions, please post those below. Give this tutorial a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Please check out some of my other tutorials. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.